going on everybody? Jack from the Mindful Homestead here and today we're going to do another tractor video. We did a video a few weeks ago where we talked about five things about our Kubota tractor that we hate. And it was a little controversial. We got a lot of comments that people were saying, you know, those are just easy things to fix. You could do that in two seconds or you could just get this or just get that. Really what that video was about was just little nitpicks. They're not deal breakers on the tractor. They're not things that were ever intended for people to be like, oh, I, I can't get a Kubota because of that. They were just little things that we kind of picked out and said, eh, Kubota could do a little bit better. On today's video, we are going to even the score and we're gonna do a video about five things we love about our Kubota tractor. And as much as I like our tractor, Jackie loves the tractor just as much. So I'm gonna rope her into this video to share a little bit of her feelings on the Kubota and what she loves about it. So let's go get it out. I'm gonna have her pull it into the yard so we can take a good look at it. And let's go talk about what we love about our Kubota. Real quick though, before we get into the meat of the video, if you're here for tractor stuff, cool. Love having you around. We raise forest pastured pork, we raise pastured chicken, we do eggs, we do our own veggie garden. We do a lot of homesteading projects here on the channel that go well beyond just tractor stuff. So if that interests you, make sure to subscribe to the channel. We'd really appreciate it. And if there's something that we don't do on the channel that you wanna see, make sure to leave it in a comment down below as well. We'd love to have suggestions from our viewers. All right, now let's get on to talking about the tractor. One of the first things I feel that's worth talking about on this tractor is the Swift Hatch Loader. Now the BX2380 series was the first series of tractors from Kubota where they offered what they called the Swift Hatch Loader, which meant that you could take this loader off the tractor without ever leaving the seat essentially. Now it doesn't always work out that way because sometimes you wanna get off the tractor and it'll give you a little bit more leverage on the manifold that attaches the four flat face connectors just to remove that manifold on and off, it, it is sometimes easier to get off the tractor. But for all intents and purposes, you don't need to pull any pins out of the side of the loader. Um, there's no finicky lining anything up or anything like that. You can take this loader off from sitting in the seat by working these levers that are over here on the side and then disconnecting that manifold. As, essentially, it can all be done from the seat. It's a little bit quicker to get off sometimes and just you know, flick a switch that way. But the ease of use that this loader goes on and off is huge because when you're using a small tractor like this, you don't want the loader on when you're mowing. Having a loader that attaches this quickly and detaches this quickly is huge for the versatility of the tractor. It just makes things a lot easier. If we're gonna mow the lawn and we need to take the tractor off, it's literally a two minute operation to get this loader on and off. And it, there's no rolling on the ground. There's no trying to get pins to come out. It's a totally seamless operation. Kubota did use flat face couplers over here on this manifold. They're a standard hydraulic coupler in the construction industry, and to pull that down from higher end equipment and bigger equipment is really nice that they did it here. A lot of people have complained that these flat face couplers can leak. We found so far that as long as you keep them clean and make sure you wipe them down before you connect everything back up after disconnecting it, we haven't had any issues so far. We don't have a ton of hours on the tractor yet. We've only had it for about two years, but I'm pretty confident that most tractors have the flat face couplers that work just fine. If you leave these couplers dirty when you're disconnecting and connecting them, they will wear and eventually leak over time. But so far we haven't had any issues. That's just us, your mileage may vary, but I don't have complaints on that. Babe, what's your favorite part of the tractor? The cup holder. <clears throat> Mommy. The second reason we love this tractor is because it has a small footprint. This gave us the ability to maneuver in and out of tight areas in our yard, as well as the luxury to build smaller gates because this tractor is able to get in and out of those spaces much easier than a larger tractor. 
Another great thing about this tractor having a small footprint is that it isn't intimidating to use. It was something that was great for me because I grew up riding a regular old lawnmower and this not being huge was easy for me to learn because it's not that far off from the lawnmower that I've been used to using in the past. What's up? You want to sit in the seat? The third thing about this tractor that we absolutely love is the availability of attachments and different accessories for it. Now the market in subcompact tractors over the last few years has really kind of exploded. So you're seeing a lot of equipment manufacturers making attachments for subcompact tractors, whether they be tillers, whether they be York rakes, whatever you're looking for, there is an attachment that'll go on the back of a subcompact tractor that somebody makes. What's been really cool though, is that since the BX has been the best selling tractor in this marketplace, there's also a lot of third party manufacturers out there that are making accessories for the tractor that are not necessarily attachments, but things that you can use to improve the performance of this. Companies like B Expanded and AI2, they're making things like skid plates and cutting edges and you know quick attach draw bars and things like that. They've really kind of put the Kubota BX at the center of their market and decided to build accessories for it because there's a ton of these tractors out there and there's a ton of people that are looking to customize them to fit the needs for their small farm or homestead. The other nice thing about going Kubota is that Land Pride is a subsidiary of Kubota. And when you're purchasing your tractor, you're able to visit the same dealer that you purchased your tractor from and pick up a whole host of implements made by Land Pride specifically for Kubota BX size tractors that are made by essentially Kubota. One of the first things we bought for our tractor was the B Expanded Piranha Tooth Bar. We've got that mounted on the bucket. We actually did a review on it, which I'll post up in the corner here. But that product, even though it's not made by Kubota, was an absolute game changer for this thing in terms of its ability to dig using a loader bucket and not having a backhoe. So overall, the knowledge that we can go out and get anything we need for this tractor to do virtually any job that it's big enough for, that's a huge peace of mind for us and part of why we love having this tractor. The fourth thing that we like about the tractor is that it's a force multiplication for us on the farm. So it has given me the luxury of being able to move much more than I'd be able to move on my own, specifically for me with gardening, whether it's the mulch for the garden or the wood chips that we used in our raised beds this year, even to filling the raised beds originally with the dirt, you know, using a wheelbarrow and back and forth, back and forth to the front of the house, to the back of the house would have been uh, significant. So having the tractor for that reason has been a huge benefit uh, to me personally. With regards to mulch for the garden, it carries about a wheelbarrow full, so it definitely lightens the, the workload significantly. And um, you know, putting mulch down in the garden isn't uh, most people's favorite thing anyways. It also has been a force multiplier in some random ways. Last spring, we bought a new washer and dryer and for several other reasons, we couldn't get it delivered directly to where we live. And so we went and picked it up with our truck, um, but getting it into the house was another obstacle. And Jack had the great idea of using the tractor. We hooked the boxes onto the loader, brought it right up to our front deck and was able to get it into the house very easily, uh, where if we didn't have the tractor, we would have definitely had to come up with some other creative ideas. And one other random thing we've moved, maybe not so random, but another thing we've moved is when we had the piglets at the beginning of this year, um, again, moving them out of the truck onto the loader and all the way into the backyard. Um, you know, we were able to move three to four piglets at a time uh, with just putting them in their crates and on the loader. The last thing we love about this tractor is what I'm gonna call the ease of ownership. And that's gonna fall into two kind of subcategories. One is the buying experience, and then two is the dealer support that you're provided after. Now, the buying experience on a Kubota is great. Uh, we have a great local dealer, Chapel Tractor. I've talked about him before on the channel. And if you're in Southern New Hampshire, I would strongly recommend going through them to get your Kubota. They're also New Holland dealers as well. The buying experience for a Kubota through our dealer was great, but Kubota also offers a whole lot of programs that make these really easy to get into, especially if you know, you're know you not necessarily ready to shell out as much money for a tractor as these things cost. Regularly, Kubota will have 0% financing programs in place. On the BX series of tractors, 
they usually always have at least one model, whether it's an 1880 with a mower deck and a loader, or you know a, a 2680 if they're trying to move through some of those. There's always a BX, at least that I've seen in the last four or five years that has had a 0% program on it. So, so if you utilize one of those programs, you could be taking on debt, but you're doing it at 0%. And because of the retail value on these things, it's almost like not taking on any debt. You're just paying it off slowly. The resale value on these things is so good that there's very little time right after the purchase that you're underwater. And by the time you're about a year in on a payment plan like that, you have equity in the tractor anyway. So the buying programs through Kubota are top notch and highly recommend that. The second part of this is that the dealer network for Kubota out there, it's extremely easy to get the parts you need to do your own maintenance on it. And if you're not doing your own maintenance on it, there are tons of dealers out there that are able to do the maintenance on these tractors. They're dead simple, especially in the BX series where you don't necessarily have to worry about getting into the whole diesel particulate filter side of things. So most of the stuff on this tractor, you could do the service at home yourself if you have even the slightest mechanical inclination. But again, if it's something you don't wanna do yourself, it's very easy to link up with a dealer, probably the one you bought it from. But if you've moved or you know bought a tractor from somewhere else, there's plenty of great Kubota dealers out there that you can use to service your tractor over the years. Not only that, but the info out there on these things that a lot of dealers provide is top notch. Neil down at Messix in Pennsylvania. They have tons of great videos over on their YouTube channel that I always recommend people checking out. But even the parts and service guys at our local dealer, even though they're not necessarily out there on the internet as far as sharing that knowledge, they've been more than helpful for me whenever I picked up the phone. That's gonna do it for today's video. You guys seem to really like Kubota videos, so we're probably gonna put something out like this one or two times a month you know i don't want to make the channel solely about kubota stuff we do a lot of homestead oriented projects on the channel like farming and gardening and raising animals so that's the focus of our channel if that's something that interests you definitely subscribe to the channel because that's most of what we put out there don't just be the kind of person that shows up for the tractor stuff and then leaves stick around we'd love having you here if you're not already subscribed to the channel, head down below, click that subscribe button. And even if you are only here for the tractor stuff, still hit the subscribe button. We've got a lot of cool tractor projects coming up. We've got the driveway that you see behind me. It's about like 900 feet long and we're gonna be totally resurfacing this thing within the next couple months, hopefully before fall hits. As always, thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye.